Greetings from smalltech.com. Today we'll be creating a simple inventory system. Um, this is part one where we'll be creating a database. We're calling this database Simple Inventory System DB. DB stands for database. Okay, let's save this database. We'll be creating three tables. The first table is product. In products, we'll store the product ID, which will be the primary key used in identity. Um, for those who don't really know what identity does, this is the same thing as auto increment. Or um, each time you create a new record, um, a number is assigned to it automatically. Next column, column is product name. We'll be giving this a string length bar char of 20. And this is a required field, so not null. Product price, we are using decimal. We could use for it, uh, money. However, decimal is the most appropriate to use in this particular situation. And the other column is product product image. Okay, um, there's a data type called image that could be used. However, we are not storing the image, we are storing the image um, path. So we are using a string to store this path from um, the user. The other column is product expiration date. This is store the expiration date of the product. Okay, in order to um, take information from the user, we are creating a stored procedure called stored product which will store the necessary information and put them in the necessary columns. We will be storing all columns except for product ID because this particular um, column auto includes. This procedure will be an insert. So we're inserting into product. So we'll enter um, the column names from um, from the table product. So product name, product price, product image, and product expiration date, and the values. The values um, are what were defined inside of the parameters of create procedure. Okay, so let's run this procedure. Success. Okay, so next thing that we'll be creating is a table. A table called manufacturer. Manufacturer. Um, so that you'll we'll know exactly um, who makes this product. Because later on in. Um, in future episodes of this development, um, we'll be able to find products based on manufacturers, uh, manufacturers, and etc. Okay, so the fields are manufacturer ID, which is the primary key we use in identity. Again, um, manufacturer name, um, which is required, and um, the manufacturer country. Which is important, but not as important. So I decided to make it a null, so it can take a null. Um, this particular table will be linked to the product product um, table. This will be a one-to-many relationship. The side of the one will be the manufacturer. And the side of the many will be the product therefore the product the id for the manufacturer will be passed to the product creating a one-to-many relationship because the side of the one gives to the side of the many there's another table that will be creating a table that we are creating is called quantity all right this is us basically um keep track of the number 
of products that is in stock. Um, the first column that will be created is Quan ID, which means quantity ID. Again, we're using identity. I didn't mention the one, um, comma one means that it starts at one. So the first number will be one and increments by one. The other column that will be created is the um, the quantity number. So this is the number of products and will be um, this will be linked to the um, product table. So we are passing product ID as a foreign key. Okay, so let us look at the diagram to see um, the relationship that have been established. So new database diagram, add tables. Okay, and as you can see the relationship, different relationships that we have created. So save. Let's call this inventory diagram. Um, the only thing that is left to do is create um, two procedures for now. Um, the first is the first of these procedures is um, store manufacturer. So again, we'll only will not store any of the um, primary keys or foreign keys. So in this case, um, the only two parameters that will be passed will be the manufacturer name and the manufacturer country. If you are, you may be wondering why we are using store procedures because um, it is more secure and it's more efficient than using the regular SQL adapter, which can be um, which can be easily SQL injected. Because what happens is that on the server side, um, only a specific set of parameters will be allowed. So you can so there's no room for additional things to be inserted. Um, the other procedure that we'll be creating is store quantity, store um, the column information from quantity. The only thing that we'll be storing is the quantity number. Stay tuned for part two of this series on creating a simple inventory system. This particular tutorial will continue until we have created a fully functioning inventory system, online based inventory system in NBC4. Thank you for watching.